Welcome Libra and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message week commencing Monday the 4th of January through to Sunday the 10th of January 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us. Your first crowning message card is compassion. Then we have commitment and prosperity. Okay, Libras. All of those Libras that I am reading for this week, if you have gone through heartache, loss, um, bereavement, uh, grief um, that has affected your heart chakra, um, I feel as though um, you're being guided to let that wall down, let that wall down a little bit um, and allow whoever you are thinking about um, for this reading to come in. I feel as though they are being divinely guided towards you um, and whatever you have gone through in the past, I feel as though it is um, presenting a bit of fear around commitment. This person may want to commit to you um, and they may be quite fearful but I feel as it's something to do with your heart that I feel that you're being encouraged to, to let down your guard um, and offer some compassion to yourself, I feel. Um, and if this is somebody that's been in your energy space around you for a while, um, I feel as though offer some compassion to them, offer that love, um, offer that encouragement that green light to come forward um, and as you do I feel as though you will go through a major transformation starting this week for sure um, of breaking down that barrier around fear of commitment and as you do so um, I feel as though whoever you are connecting to is most definitely a prosperous co connection I feel as though um, you know the both of you together um, may actually create quite um, an abundant amount of uh, finances. But I feel as though this relationship is just going to be beyond your wildest dreams. Um, it's abundant. It's full of life and love. Um, it's allowing you to sing and dance to your own soul, to your heart. Um, and I feel as though they just they just bring light into your life and I feel as though this fear of commitment um over a broken heart perhaps of the past bad relationships bad choices um just know it's all about the learning it's all about the journey sometimes not the destiny um, or, or the end of the journey, which I feel as though with this prosperity card, boy, are you being rewarded um, for the lessons, the trials and tribulations that you've gone through when it comes to your heart. And I feel as though um, the greatest lesson, uh, Libras, is to recognise this person that's coming in is absolutely going to transform and change your mindset around commitment. So I feel as though you're being guided to open your heart, uh, let that guard down, let that shield down, and offer compassion to yourself and the person that you're connecting with. <laughs> and I chuckle to myself because your crowning wisdom messages, I almost like, yeah, I was like, really, spirit team? Um, so your first crowning message, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So uh, Libra's uh open your heart to this person if you really want them as part of your life and you see a future with them uh divine spirit universe is coming in with the wisdom to say a this is true love and this could be the one um but the choice is yours 
The choice is yours. Um, I feel that this person is prosperous. The connection between the two of you is absolutely off this chart. Um, and I feel as though you feel them on that soul level in a really, really big way. But there's something that's holding you back. Um, and it, I feel it's it's past hurts, to be honest with you. And I feel that it's it, it, the wisdom coming in. It, it's OK to let your guard down. You don't need to fear commitment. Not with this person. Not with this person that you're connecting with. Um, who have I just finished doing? Uh, which zodiac sign have I just finished reading for? Uh, Virgo. Libra, if you've got Virgo in your chart, it might be worth having a look at that video because um, Virgo also had um, remnants of um, letting down their guard and letting somebody in. Um, and so if you've got Virgo in your chart or the person that you're connecting with has Virgo in their chart, it might be worth having a look at that video. Um, to just get a bit more insight. Okay, uh, Libras, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up on that video. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them? <clears throat> okay, this card wanted to come out. Two of Swords. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday, the 4th <coughs> of January through to Sunday, the 10th of January, 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Libra that I'm allowed to see for their highest good? And for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right. Okay, straight off the bat, Libra, I feel as though this person that you're connecting with is most definitely at a crossroads with you. Their heart is open, it is protected, they may be guided to break down this shield, this armour around their heart um, and let you in. They may also have a fear of commitment, but they see the prosperity in this connection and they may not know quite how to communicate um, and progress this connection um, that I suppose protects their heart. And we've got the Knight of Swords, Libra. Are you a bit cutting, a little bit decisive, a little bit blunt and straight to the point? Judgment. Um, I feel as though that they see you as somebody that's quite decisive, uh, somebody that that's, uh, speaks their truth. Um, you may be a little bit blunt with your words. Um, you may not be a great communicator, Libra, Um but I feel as though they they don't know how to progress this connection with you. Um, yeah, but they do want reconciliation. You want reconciliation. Wow. Okay, okay, let's do this properly. This came out like this. Wow, we have the world card. We have the uh, two of coins and we have two bonus cards the seven of wands and the seven of coins um wow okay libra whoever you are connecting to i feel as though uh yeah i feel as though uh this is true love um and it most definitely could be the one that you have been seeking praying manifesting setting those intentions um, and I feel both of you are being called to action to release what does not serve this connection. And that is guarding your hearts. Both of you may feel a bit of fear of commitment, but at the same time, it's like both of you want to reconcile. You want to be together. And you know what? With this world card here, uh, Libra, you may already be aware that this person that is around you at the moment is possibly could be the one. Um, and I feel that you may already know that um, this cycle of protecting your heart 
uh, needs to close out and a new cycle needs to open with this person. You could be across the waters or different location to this person, not necessarily, um, but it is the world card. Um, so it's only fear that I call that out. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus. I think that's Gemini. I never know who the eagle is. Um, I should really look it up. Um, but any one of those signs um, are popping through here. Um, Libra. But even though you may know that you need to close out this cycle to reconcile with this person on that deep soul level, I feel as though it's got you feeling a little bit unbalanced or you could be uh, focusing, uh, you're not balancing work and the time that you're spending with this, this, with this relationship, this person that you're connecting to. Um, for your bonus cards, I feel as though this person does want to fight for this connection. They see you as somebody worth fighting for. Um, you know, they may be fully aware that you um, have a fear of commitment or you may not be expressing with that Knight of Swords um, any kind of commitment to them. Um, and I feel as though they may already be aware that you're pr you're protecting your heart, which is why they don't quite know how to progress this connection with you. I feel as though for you, Libra, I feel as though the seeds have been planted with this person um, and it definitely resonates. You've already met the romantic partner you seek because these seeds that have been planted in this connection, they are fully grown. They've been nurtured. Um, uh, they've been nourished, um, and they've grown. And I feel that you're really happy um, with how this connection has progressed. And you're beginning to fill up your basket. I feel as though you're going to break this cycle, Libra. Um, I feel as though you see the prosperity in this person. Um, and this may this reading may be just an, a, a, an affirmation or a confirmation for you that what you are feeling towards this person, you're on the right track um, for sure, for absolute sure. Let's have a look at your clarifications. My, oh, okay. I feel as though this person wants to, cut. let's move these down here a little bit. I feel as though this person wants to come in um, and have a serious discussion with you and look at the cards that's come out because they want to build a future with you. They want this back and forth communication with you. I feel as though that's how they feel is the only way to progress this um, connection is to um, is to communicate. And if you are particularly um, in different locations or across the waters right now, that may be the only thing that you can have with this person is back and forth communication. I feel as though this person sees your energy. I, 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 Libra, you're coming in as a king of coins. Not only do they see you as somebody that is quite, um, you know, decisive, uh, maybe a little bit blunt, they hold you in quite high regard. And I feel as though they also see that you are abundant, you're balanced, maybe quite spiritual, quite wise. Um, and I feel as though they recognise that um, that you may be coming in quite, uh, quite, quite slowly, quite steadily. And I've just, my eyes have just caught on to this owl here um, or eagle. And it's the same eagle um, here. Now, swords is all about communication. It's representative of the air signs. So um, so we've got Leo, that's obviously fire. We've got uh, Taurus, which is earth. We have... Um, I feel that this is the eagle that's representing air. So you could be dealing with uh, Libra, another Libra. Or Aquarius or Gemini and this uh, this image obviously must represent cups love so you've got all of the signs popping out here um, Libra so you could be dealing with anybody quite frankly but we'll just continue we'll see what is we've got Virgo coming up here on that symbol 
um, to build a future. But this person sees you as solid. Absolutely. Um, and I feel that they want this communication with you. Um, but they do see they may recognize that you've got your your shield up around your heart. Hence why you may be coming in, you know, slow and steady. But I just feel as if they they just know they they just know that um, you are worth putting in the time and the effort. And I feel as though uh, with this devil card, uh, they may recognize that you've got to go through a transformation or they may be going through a transformation or allowing a transformation to happen um, around this connection, almost kind of walking in, in faith, really. With that devil card here, you could be dealing with somebody that has Capricorn in their chart or you may have Capricorn. And I feel as though, OK, so I feel, Libra, that you do want to put the work into this connection. So it's you that's going to go through a transformation. I feel as though you hear that call to action to offer something of your heart um, to break down that barrier because I feel that you do want to put the work in and you're using every bit of strength and courage um, to do that. I, I, I genuinely feel as though you see this person. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. This is fated. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. Wow. Um, Libra, you are dealing with a very, very deep soulmate for sure. This is this is true love. This is true love in the most beautiful form. Um, and I feel as though you feel this person gets you. They understand you and vice versa. And you're using every bit of strength and courage, I feel, Libra, to close a cycle where you have protected your heart for so long um, in order to start a new cycle and let this person in. And look, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. This is most definitely um, fated, um, absolutely written in the stars for you and this person. Uh, you could be dealing with uh, a Leo as well, or you may have Leo in your chart, um, Libra. Thank you. And look, I feel that this is your energy. You want to come in um, with this cup of love to this person. That's what's making you unbalanced. The wheel of fortune. You know what, Libra, male or female, I feel as though you have a lot of love for this person, um, but you are not speaking it. Um, and it may be unbalancing you a little bit. Um, you're not quite sure what to do. You may even be unsure of how to progress it. It almost feels as if you're mirroring each other. Um, they may also see you as somebody that um, not only is this uh, king of coins energy, but also this king of cups energy, um, somebody that has unconditional love. I feel as though this person sees you as honest, straight up, straight to the point, maybe a little bit sharp at times, but un fundamentally grounded, balance, somebody that has this cup of love. And I feel for you, uh, Libra, I feel as though this cup of love that you have for this person, it's unbalancing you. It really, really, really is. My angel, thank you. And oh my gosh, Libra, I it can't get any better than that. <laughs> this is a victorious with that sun card here. This connection is so prosperous, so victorious. It's almost as if the stars are just aligning to bring you both together. It is unbelievable, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's have a look at your um, your uh, bonus your your bonus cards. My thank you. Look at that. They want to fight for this connection because they want this new beginning with you. They want to take a leap of faith with you, uh, Libra. No doubt. No doubt. And look at that. They're also feeling unbalanced around this cup of love, around um, coming in with messages of emotion to you um, because they don't know how to quite progress this connection. They may know that you're protecting your heart. They may know that. You may want to come in with this cup of love um, message, it, but, but you're going to do it slow and steady, slow and steady with that knight of coins. I feel as though you know that this connection 
um, is pretty special Libra. You know that um, it has been nurtured. It, this may be somebody that you've known for, for a hot minute, um, but you are pleased. You are pleased with the way that it's progressing, um, but you're still going to be coming in slow and steady with any kind of cup of emotion. This person is feeling a little bit unbalanced. Um, they may be working too hard as well, um, you know, not balancing out um, the uh, it, it, relationship with work. Um, but they do want to they do want to take a leap of faith. They want to fight for this connection. It may feel a little bit unbalancing for them. Like I say, they may also have a fear of commitment. But I feel as though with that world and that wheel um, of fortune coming in, it's as though divine is just pulling you both together. This is the right time, uh, Libra, for you and this person to come into union for sure. Let's have a look at your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you provide advice for the collective? Thank you. What's this holiday? Right, okay. Libra, if you're connecting with Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart, please check out the Virgo video because they also has holiday, but it came up as the honeymoon um, in their crowning wisdom message and you've got advice. It's time to go on that holiday that you have, have been dreaming about. Live life. I feel as though Libra, you and this person are in different locations, possibly even different countries. And I feel as though there may be discussions of either one of you visiting one another. And I feel as though Divine Spirit Universe is saying, take it, take that holiday, take that break and, and, and live, live life because this could be the one. This may be somebody that you've been calling in for some time um, and it really does have the potential to be your true love. Well, certainly with that sun card, the world card and the wheel of fortune, I would pretty say it is your true love. And then it's proud. Be proud of who you are, where you've been and where you're going. So, you know what, even though you may um, be protecting your heart at this time, Libra, be proud of it because it's taken you to where you are today. You remember what I was saying earlier on in this video is, you know, sometimes it's not about the end destination. It's about the journey that you go through. And I feel that whatever heartache and loss um, or grief that you've gone through that's affected your heart chakra, that has um, triggered you to really um, enclose it with that shield, um, I feel as though... Uh, it's it's taken you to this place. It's it's taken you to where you are right now, and I feel as though Divine Spirit Universe is almost almost kind of bringing in blessings, rewards, because they they know that you are a giving person. You know, you like balance. You know, if you give, you know, there is an expectation to to receive. You know, you know how to receive love, you know how to give love, but you may have been taken advantage of in the past. And I feel as though you are just categorically not even going down that road again. But this person, this person um, has just lit up your life. And um, I feel that you're being guided, you know, you know, don't apologize for who you are because you're fabulous. Um, just know um that it's 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 part and parcel of where you are today, you know, um, and who you are today, um, and use those tools to build the future that you want. You know, don't stay uh, tied into the past. Use the experiences and the learnings to go forward in the future in a positive, positive manner. Something else that just popped into my mind as I was speaking about proud. Uh, Libras, if you are quite a giving person and you're somebody that kind of jumps into, you know, uh, your emotions, depending on what other elements you have in your in your birth chart um, and you you just give and you just give and you get just give. And, you know, uh, you never in the past really received that back. It was never really reciprocated or people took advantage of you. I almost feel as though 
that experience that led you to shield your heart meant that you got to know this person before you jumped in um, and possibly if you had jumped in like how you had done with maybe with past relationships this person may not have grown to want to fight for this connection this person may not have do you know what I'm talking about it's it's almost like that that push pull effect sometimes when you when you give so much you almost frighten people away and I feel as though that may have been the situation with this person but because your your heart was guarded it's almost as though they may have done a lot of the nurturing and a lot of the planting of the seeds um and I feel as though that may have been their learning to you. Um, they may have been one of these people that, you know, they would, you know, give, um, but they would give, you know, bit by bit. You know, if if the person isn't reciprocating, then they're off ski, you know, they're just cutting it dead. But with you, there's something real special that's just pulling them towards you and I almost feel as though the guard around your heart almost feels as though it's enticed them even more to you so that's what I was getting with this proud card um so be proud of who you are where you've been and where you go where you're going because it really has shaped um it really has shaped you I feel to be wise to be really wise and you've got another you well you've got two other bonus you've got a lot of bonuses coming out spirit obviously wants to speak to you guys libra um friends spend more time with your friends share your thoughts with someone who understands you um i feel as though you may speak to friends or family or confidants about this person um, and it may be part and parcel of you grounding yourself because you feel this connection in a really, really big way. And then your last two cards, wait, take time to think on the matter at hand. Don't be tempted to rush and home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. You may actually, um, well, first of all, you, you may actually end up <coughs> uh, moving home or this person moving home with with you as this connection takes you know this cycle to to open to close out and open with this new person you might end up living together um quite 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 soon quite swiftly because with that world card and that holiday card i really do believe that you're in different locations and this wait, I feel as though um, whatever you are waiting for to just, I feel the, this wait card is about um, allowing yourself the time to gradually let your guards down. Um, you know, don't jump. Do you remember what I, gosh, sometimes I speak when I'm I'm reading before the cards are even out. Do you remember what I was just saying? You may have been a person, Libra, that you jumped into things quite quickly. And whatever heartache that you've gone in the past, it, it put a shield up around your heart. And this person, I feel, really had to work for you. Um, and I feel what you're being guided to is don't take down that shield like automatically straight away and then just jump full blown into this relationship. I feel as though take your time, take your time, get to know this person um and if you are in different locations wait before you kind of make that decision uh, either one of you really that one needs to be where the other one is wait and just see what occurs um with this connection i'm also picking up as well this person may actually feel like home to you they may feel like home Okay, Libra, what a beautiful message for you for that first week in, in January. Um, beautiful, beautiful start um, to 2021 for sure. Um, 
Libra, I'm going to leave that there. If this message resonates with you, please feel free to click that thumbs up on this video. It helps to push this video out to other Libras that may need to hear this message. Also, if you would like to know when I'm uploading uh, new messages, feel free to subscribe. Um, I welcome you to Spirit and Truth Tarot and I thank you in advance for your subscription. It really does help to support the channel. All other information, please check out the description box um, below. Um, particularly if you want to follow me on Instagram because the link is down there. And other than that, Libra, I'm just going to send you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Look forward to reading your cards next week. Take care. Bye bye.